Hi everyone, in this video I will be reviewing K-Beauty makeup. I already have a couple of videos where I did review K-Beauty makeup products but at that time I didn't have a lot of products. K-Beauty is Karina Kaif's makeup brand and they did launch a lot of products this year. Some of the products that I have here are my absolute favorites and I also have a few products that didn't work for me. I'm also going to create this peachy makeup look while reviewing these products so that you can actually see the products in action. And now without any further chatting, let's get started. The first product is the K-Beauty Color Correcting Primer. I have it in the shade Orange. This has a water-based no-shine formula. It does hydrate and color correct minor imperfections it has a very light tint so it can be really useful for doing a minimal natural or no makeup look overall this is a really good primer if you want to get a smooth base under your makeup along with some color correction then we have the k-beauty hd liquid color correctors if you actually want to color correct go with these instead of the primer because the primer has a very very light tint and this is the actual color correcting product this is available in five different shades with medium to high buildable coverage my favorites are peach and yellow orange is just too intense and pigmented for my skin tone these have a matte finish and are very blendable you can also mix them with concealers or foundations to change their undertone these are long wearing and these do not crease i really like these color correctors and i feel that these are a must try i apply peach on my pigmentation green around my nose to cancel redness and yellow under my eyes to brighten up my under eyes after this, we have the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I have it in the shade 155 White Tan. This is a my skin but better kind of foundation. It has a dewy finish, light to medium buildable coverage. You can use it in countless number of ways for natural look, as a skin tint, for a glam look and for spot concealing as well. It's very moisturizing. It's perfect for dry skin. If you have oily skin, this might not be the perfect foundation for you because I feel that when my T-zone was very oily, it did transfer a bit. The shade that I have has a yellow olive kind of undertone. I don't think that I have seen this foundation creasing in my smile lines so there is no visible creasing and as you can see this provides a soft blurry filter for my skin and I really like that finish. Next up is a product that didn't work for me. This is the K-Beauty Contour Stick in Coco Focus. This product just does not blend. And before you say that you need to work fast with it or anything like that, I want you to know that I have tried everything with this contour stick. I just love the color of this contour stick. It's perfect for cream contouring but every time I use it, I literally have to rub it into my skin to blend it out. I have tried it with foundation, without foundation, with brushes, makeup sponge, fingers and whatnot. And after trying it for a year, I just don't think that this blends. You have to put in a lot of effort into blending so you might wanna skip this product. Next is concealer. This is the K-Beauty HD Liquid Concealer. I have two shades that I like using on my under eyes. 100Y is for brightening up my under eyes and 150N is for concealing. I mix both the shades and apply them on my under eyes, forehead, chin and the tip of my nose and I just like to highlight my nose a little bit. Not always, just this one time. Now I really like the shade names of the base products. It's really easy to understand and find your shade just by the shade names. Now this concealer is available in 13 shades it has a matte finish it's very blendable and has medium to high buildable coverage it doesn't crease easily i always use a brush to blend out my concealer to maintain coverage my initial impression of this concealer was not that good because i felt that these were too drying and these were just not blending but after using them a few times i got to know more about how to use this and how can i work with these and after that i started using it very often you're really going to like it if you have oily or combination skin you can also use deeper shades from this range for cream contouring and i think i like it better than the contour stick because it blends really nicely into your skin it has a very soft matte kind of finish on my skin it's non-drying and it won't feel heavy on your skin so yeah i really like these concealers after this i have the k beauty cream blush 
in Sweetheart Pink, which is this cool toned pink shade. This blush is pigment packed. You need to use the tiniest amount of this product. It is a long lasting, transfer proof cream blush. Now, the texture of this blush is very moussey. It blends into the skin really nicely. You can blend it in with anything with brush, with a makeup sponge, or with your fingers. It's also very easy to use. It layers really well on top of products like foundation or concealer. It will not lift your foundation. So, yeah, this is a really good cream blush. Next is the K-Beauty HD Matte Setting Loose Powder. This one is in the shade Olive. This is a very finely milled loose powder and it's really good for setting your entire face. I like using it with a brush because this becomes very patchy if you try to use it with a sponge. Overall, it mattifies your face really well. It's super smooth. It gives a soft velvety kind of finish to your skin and it's non-drying just make sure that you're using it with a powder brush instead of a sponge and don't bake with this powder don't even try to bake with it because it's going to be very very patchy if you do that after this we have the eyeshadow palettes i have two variants of the eyeshadow palette and those are pure bloom and bare soul pure bloom has these warm toned peachy shades and bare soul has your go-to neutral shades like shades that you can use for a new look or for a soft glam makeup look or something like that i'm starting off with the shade biscuit and i'm using a big and fluffy transition brush and i'm applying it above my crease this is basically something that i will be using to blend all the shades today i am going to create an ultimate smoked out winged kind of eyeshadow look say so i'm just applying it above my crease and i'm taking it all the way to my inner corners and applying it kind of in the contour of my nose after this, I will be using the shade Spice and I'm going to apply it above my crease with a pointed blending brush. I'm just building up the eyeshadow over here. Then I'm going to pick up the shade Brick on a flat and small brush and I am going to focus it on my outer corners. After that, I am going to blend everything in and smoke it out. This is one of my favorite eye looks. It just opens up the inner corner and it lifts your eyes. In fact, it lifts your whole face. Then I'm going to take the shade Chocolate from the Bare Soul palette and I'm going to layer it on top of Brick just to intensify the outer corner so that you get that lift. Then I am going to cut my crease and apply these beautiful peachy shimmer shades on top of the cut crease. I am going to apply the shade Crimson on my outer corner. All the shades in both the palettes are very blendable. Pure Bloom is perfect for light to medium skin tones and Bare Soul is a very universal palette. It will work on all skin tones and the packaging is absolutely amazing for all the palettes. After that, I will be using the shade Peach and ultimately Salmon for the innermost part of my eyes. Then we have the K-Beauty Waterproof 24-Hour Cold Gargel in the shade Spade. This is a great product. It does whatever it claims and it's long-wearing, waterproof and smudge-proof. This is one of the colds that I like using a lot. I basically use coal for my outer corner or to tight line. I don't generally use it on my lower lash line or bottom line. Then we have the K-Beauty Ultra Black Volume and Length Mascara. I bought this recently, I really wanted to try it out and I really liked it. It does lift my lashes and adds some volume. Also love the wand, it has super dense bristles. Then we have the K-Beauty Contour and Highlight Pro Palette. This has three shades, one highlighter shade, a warm bronzer kind of shade and a neutral contour shade. All the three shades are matte. I really like the deepest contouring shade and I use it with a little bit of the bronzy shade for contouring my face. All the three shades are very blendable. You can customize your own contour shade by adding the highlighter shade to the deeper contouring shades. Earlier I used to think that the highlighter shade is useless for me. I just have a bronzer and a contour shade but I was really wrong. You can play with all the three shades to contour your face and to customize a shade for yourself and that is why I don't like first impressions because my first impressions generally change. So I like reviewing a product after using it a few times. Next, we have the K-Beauty Matte Blush in Soft Nude. This is an amazing product. I love the color, the formula. It's not drying, it has got some kickback and it's very pigmented, so always tap off the excessive product from your brush. Other than that, it's a really beautiful pigmented powder blush. Then I have the K-Beauty Eliminating Highlighter in Honey Glaze. This is a powder highlighter. This gives a very luminous, natural kind of glow in a single layer. You can obviously make it more blinding by using a setting spray before the highlighter. And this highlighter is very buildable.
After this, I have the K Beauty Matte Action Lip Liner and Fame. I don't think that I need to say anything about this lip liner. I literally use it in every video. Then I have the K Beauty Matte Drama long stay lipstick this lipstick is a little overpriced according to me that's what i feel after using them don't get me wrong i love the shades they are beautiful i love the texture of formula it's very lightweight and it's long lasting non-drying but i personally will not spend a thousand rupees on this i'd love to buy it during a sale maybe i am feeling that way because i have too many lipsticks but that's how I feel. Then I have the K Beauty Matte Me Matte Lip Crayon. I have got two shades with me. It has a powder matte finish and it's transfer proof, non-drying, long wearing plus the shade range is perfect for Indian skin tone. They have a lot of nude shades and by nude shades I mean really good nude shades that look bomb on Indian skin tones. I got two shades and I purchased both of those online and both of the new shades were on point. And that's it for the video. I really hope that you find this video helpful. If it did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.